for this wonderful trip, the trip that has been in the back of my mind for the better part of a decade, it is going to be me and my best friend Jared going to both coasts in one calendar day, going to Fenway and then Dodger Stadium. And the goal, catch a baseball at each one. After all the research that I've done, I haven't seen anyone go to both stadiums in one day. What is up, road trippers? Tony here at Fenway, and uh, it's Boston Marathon Day. Early morning entry, and it's also going to be Tony Marathon Day. I'm doing something crazy. Two games, two coasts. First game, Fenway. Tonight, Dodger Stadium. I don't know that it's been done before, but if I catch a baseball at both, that's the furthest distance in one day. The adventure starts now. The ground rules of this trip are simple. Uh, attend two baseball games in the same calendar day at both coasts and catch a baseball by any means, whether it's batting practice, during the game, toss up, fall ball, home run, just get on the board. The idea in my head came about when I saw that people were able to go to multiple stadiums, but then the idea really started to form right before COVID, and I started looking at that as a possibility for 2020 working with Jared to figure out how we were going to do that and start planning that attack. It really started to open up after I started doing a little bit more flying and opening up a larger world due to the fact that my world before that was a lot smaller with anxiety. This is also something special because it's, it's sharing in the foundation of what Jared and I have done together since 2016 with our trips both flying and just doing baseball and making it a yearly celebration really and this is by far the craziest celebration that we've ever planned. Will we be able to pull this off today is kind of the biggest question that I have, that Jared has, and that you have. I. I'm feeling good. I'm just ready to do something that hasn't been done before and it feels really cool to, at least in my mind, have a world record. Alright, so the plan of attack for today is simple. Get in the gates, hopefully early entry. We made it. We made it. We're gonna get checked in now. Get in and rather than going up to the green monster, I mean there's probably not gonna be BP today, so I'm gonna go around bullpen area in right field and just kind of go all around the perimeter and hope that there's either an Easter egg or a friendly player or coach still on the field. And then from there, hopefully be able to cross off another check mark on my shirt and then it becomes a game of logistics and leave here by about two o'clock at the very latest. Wish me luck. Need to get on the board, but the sun is shining down on us. It's going to be a good day. Red Sox Nation, it worked. Now, we wait. Yeah, that's what I'm going to hope. Something. Any chance, please? Thank you. You rock. Get to check that off the list now. 
We're going to Dodger Stadium after this today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, buddy. There you go, dude. Oh, you rock. Chris Archer. Are you guys playing the game of catch? Any chance he'd check off a box for me? Because he threw me a ball? Is he going to? Yeah. I ain't got one, bro. Uh, catch a ball underneath. Down. Chris Archer is the man. Thanks, Chris. Luis Arise. He says hi, Connor. Luis. It's a good day. Good day at Fenway. Three on the day already. Can you tell I'm smiling? But crossed off both of those. You saw that, Chris Archer. Again, huge thanks, but we're only halfway there, and not even halfway there in time. <sighs> Sit back, relax, enjoy the game, then flight time. Thank you, Chris Paddock. Going back there. Probably to sign the wall. That spot in the pot. I believe it. Since the year 2000, this particular trip with Fenway hosting the Boston Marathon game and the Dodgers playing at home at night only happened six times. So this will be the seventh time that it has happened and that means that once out of every three to four years you can do this potential trip, which really told me that if I wanted to make this happen, if I wanted to be the first person to do it, I better get on the ball before someone else Gets wise. Really, it came down to can we see at least part of both games? Are we going to get not only enough opportunities to try to get me to get a baseball at each stadium, but are we going to be able to enjoy it and feel like we actually attended a baseball game? Or would it feel like it's more of just its own type of marathon? Are we just running and sprinting and not being able to enjoy the true atmosphere? And again, circling back to why we picked these two stadiums, these two options really maximize that. We're looking at if all things start on time and things line up like they should on our schedule. We're gonna get two and a half to three hours of a baseball game at Fenway, which is most of the game or potentially all of it. And when we land into LA, depending on traffic, we'll be there right around first pitch. So again, another almost complete game that's more than enough opportunity for me to both catch a baseball and for us to just chill and say that we were at both games. I chose Fenway and Dodger Stadium. Fenway because it offered the earliest start time and because Boston is a hub and then LA because it also is a major hub for flights. Beyond that, 
it came down to the history of baseball and some of my favorite stadiums, some of Jared's favorite stadiums. Both of us just kind of came to the idea of which ones are also going to be the prettiest and most fun and just have the most history. Fenway and Dodger Stadium, even if I was planning a trip for just one stadium in one day, would probably be at the top of the list. Just about ready for first pitch. Trevor Larnick. And five. Five. Nuts. But it's gonna be a good day. I still can't get over it. Jared! First pitch in the books, Dick Mountain, Jorge Polanco. It's real. It just got real. This is happening. Home run ball right there. It's gonna be, right? Yeah. It's legit. Yeah. Oh my god, Kyle Garlic, two run bomb. Hit the light right over the monster. Fell down. Tossed up. Cloud nine. Wow. Jared's getting ready. Think he's gonna be the second one to do this feat? Can't miss the tall guy. Is it coming this side or that side? Tommy's side. I think. Just be ready. I'm ready. Hey! Come on. Come on. Another two-run bomb. Jorge this time. Jared, scoreboard update. Nice swing, Sando. We are in an inning, and the Twins are winning, and it's going good. Technically fourth inning, Twins are up four to zero. Fifth inning, now four to one. Well, free pretzels, and did a quick interview. I might be on the Red Sox broadcast. This day is big. Can't even explain it. All right, that's it. The twins are winning four to one, and we gotta leave. So it's 1 p.m., and 
Jared, are you ready? I'm born ready. Stop number two, just a couple thousand miles away. Bye, Fenway. I'll miss you. But Dodger Stadium, all oh, that weather. I gotta bring it back with me. Getting ready for the airport. We're there. A ah. few more hours. One more baseball game. Still feels unreal. Six. Six balls at Fenway. I truly love that ballpark. Look at that. Twins win an 82. Twins looking like they're gonna get that dub. It's all us. There's a man at the game today by the name of Tony Voda who's done something I'm not sure we've ever seen before. He's traveling from coast to coast because of the 11:10 a.m. first pitch here in Boston. He was able to see the Minnesota Twins game and now he's flying out to Los Angeles to catch the Dodgers this afternoon. Said he wanted to go the furthest places he can watch two games. Jeez. Twins win. Twins win. Eight to three. Twins win. With this type of trip, Unfortunately, there's not a lot of contingency plans. If there is a rain out, if there is a delay with air traffic, if there's something else that happens on this trip, it can really turn from we're going to be able to do this into we didn't do it. Then it really only comes down to hopefully everything works smoothly with our flight. And if that's the case, we're setting up really nicely to at least complete the first check marks on, on the shirt here. I think right now the biggest roadblocks are twofold. The first one is just getting a baseball at each stadium. Dodger Stadium, no BP because we're getting there at first pitch. So I think really it comes down to putting myself in a good position to try to get that baseball. That is kind of fear number one. And then the second fear, which I have almost no control over is the flight. Now that the weather is looking good at, at both locations, it just comes down to when does the flight leave, when does it arrive, and then the transportation from LAX to Dodger Stadium, it's just a transportation game at this point. If I can control what, what I do and, and catch a baseball at both places, it really just comes down to the transportation god smiling upon us. We're about to land in LA. How are you feeling about pulling this thing off? I am 97% certain. How did the flight go? Hey, okay. How did our transportation from the ballpark to the airport go? I don't want to jinx it yet. All right, we're doing it. We're going. Yes. Made it. The flight was good. Anxiety was basically non-existent. I'm more anxious about completing the goals and it's looking like we're gonna get to Dodger Stadium. I don't know how quickly. First pitch doesn't appear to be in play, but hopefully enough to be able to catch a baseball. Did you ever foresee something like this happening and going through with this type of plan? I don't think anyone really does, but when you decide you're just going to start living your life, you get to do fun and crazy things, and this is just one of the things that we did, so I can, yeah. Whew! That was an Uber ride. No bueno. A little bit delayed, not quite eight o'clock though. We had to drop off the, the luggage because Dodger Stadium doesn't have a luggage locker. Oh well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling still good about it because uh, yeah, the traffic looks absolute chaos. So plenty of people not at the game yet. 
including us. Jared, how do you feel? Anxious. We gotta get there. We gotta get moving. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Who knew LA had no lakes and all hills? Looks like we made it. Big reveal. We're here. Sweaty, but here. Bottom of the third. So you might be wondering, why do this trip now? Well, people might get wise. Someone might do it first, and selfishly speaking, I, I want to be able to do something this crazy and be able to say that I was the first one to do it. and. To do it with Jared, it comes full circle. It started off with a seemingly relatively easy flight from Minneapolis to Atlanta just to enjoy a baseball game. He grew into Atlanta Jared, I grew into baseball road tripper, and now the world has opened up to the point where we no longer just go on baseball trips. We're doing crazy stuff. And finally being able to show a little bit more of who I am with you with Jared and living life a little bit more freely. Yeah. Where are we? Um, Fen. No, not Fenway. Dodger Stadium. Oh, we made it. You know, same day as Fenway. First meal of the day: vegan Dodger dogs. That'll do. Dodgers are winning 3 nothing. They were up 1 nothing. Half half asleep. Hey guys, if this day couldn't be any better, I just got word I'm being cast in Arrested Development. Yep, see? Right down there. Want to have her do the check off? Oh yeah. You have the marker. Will you don't do you? the pleasure of checking off the four I'm ready. I'm going. Go ahead. I appreciate it. Good check. We finished it off. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Both wow. Two iconic stadiums. Bad news, guys. The interview got bumped. But she was nice. Cloud Nine. Dodger Stadium, Fenway Park. You've been a blast. It's a good day. It's a good way to spend it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Jared, 
don't know what you're saying either, actually. It's... Blame it on the jet lag. Blame it on the nerves. Craig Kimbrell, shutting her down. Maybe. Dodgers win, 74, woo! So that's a wrap, Dodger Stadium, in the books. Ended up with three, yeah. So we saw six innings at each ballpark, and I still can't believe I did it. Jared, parting words. Bye-bye. Bye, Dodger Stadium. I'll see you again soon. I'll give it to you that this trip is frivolous, crazy, and a bit over the top, but that has been our relationship, Jared and I. Back in college, we would come up with our own games, our own sports, our own ways of, of passing time, and it was always kind of left of center. It was either grand ideas or just unique, weird ideas that other people weren't doing, and it was kind of for the sake of us being unique. I think that we've started to apply that to some of our loves, which is going to baseball games, sharing time together. You're right, it is crazy, it is over the top, but the fact that we can, and, and we can still do it, and just show you that regular folks can do this too. I think everyone has those crazy dreams that they think are just out of reach, and they aren't. All right, here's the last message. I'll try to make it quick. But I have a lot of things to give, first and foremost. Jared, you made this thing possible, and thank you. I had so much more that I could say, but number one here. Um, Tom O'Reilly, thanks for uh, hooking me up with Tyler Boronski. And then Tyler and his team, thank you for reaching out to the Dodgers. And Kirsten Watson. Thanks for talking with me for a little bit and for the ball. Um, all the players that tossed me a ball, I, both Fenway and Dodger Stadium, all the fans, they, they were amazing. Everyone that has been checking in on me, um, my friends that have pushed me to be able to get on flights and do these crazy things, uh, Greg, Benny, everyone else. And, you know, TK, and Yoast, thanks for checking in with me. Uh, there's so many more. Um, Chelsea, you watched Evie, thank you. I'm missing probably so many more, but this, this couldn't have happened without a team effort, and thank you.